Good morning. Or whatever it is, wherever you are. Okay. I thought, I thought my uh, preview was frozen for a second there. All right. It's actually been a little while since I worked on this, so I'm going to have to remember how I set everything up. I know. No, 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 no. We need to do... There's an extra option for this. And you think something might have been merged upstream. Checked for patches merged upstream. <clears throat> STG rebase, they suggest options and then. Uh, I should be on master myself. Checking for pet one found. Done merged. Uh, it's still showing it. Is that does that mean it's blank? Yep, it seems to be. Okay, uh sure. I guess that's useful to say, hey, I'm still here. Uh, let's do a compile check before we... Oh, man, I used to have this. Oh, my gosh, I've still got it in the back buffer. I mean, I guess I haven't touched those files. Uh, oh, this was when I was doing server stuff. Uh, what directory are we using now? 362. Oh, hey, how about we change directories? Uh, it's documents. Users. And we actually want game source. All right, so that seems good. We can connect to our server. Right, this is the first time I've been on here since the band update. <laughs> I still got my ice hole. Uh, this might be a, a good point to... redo the map. <laughs> so we got some stuff here, but... That's going to be pretty traumatic. Uh, did I not have any console there? Yeah, I guess I decided not to rebuild it. Well, um, actually, I'm. this might have the plus 20, but not the final tweak. Is that right? Yeah, that's that would that would be right. Hey, kitty cat. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Doctor Image. Um, no, not, not Doctor Image. Doctor Volume. Uh, let's see. Do I care about the old? I, I don't think I actually care that much about it. So it's easier just to reset it. Uh, Move unused. I guess we delete it and recreate it. Rather than tweaking all the scripts to change uh, change the name. I might actually want to change my spawn point here. <laughs> Uh, although I guess it does, it's not necessarily going to be jungle in all possible seeds. Uh, at zero. Uh, force Eve location. I never actually overrode the locations here. No, actually, we wanted to try that. I just wanted to try a different seed, and if we actually don't override the seed, uh, well, it's like I used to be running out of an Arctic there uh, that didn't immediately have dangerous things. It's like I kind of usually had to run out of that area anyway for testing stuff. Uh, on the other hand, if I'm not messing with hunger, uh, we think that the leadership crash is fixed, so it's not actually a not starving issue. <laughs> See, I did not leave that open, did I? Yep. <laughs> well, it's still jungle, but it's not very much jungle. We could probably work with this. And there's not as much stuff around, but I can I can spawn it if I need it, so. So that works. Everything seems to work. Uh, okay, so we were looking at... Get nuts, get RM, uh, delete. Stg delete, fix ghost sounds. Which sort of made everything reprocessed because they were all built on top of it. Uh, that in and of itself, well, that, that should take care of any possible merge conflicts with the new stuff. Oh, like just land on it? Yeah, I, just, I don't think I've ever had that. Patches master, so we should see a difference in that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I I, uh, I think that patch got collapsed. And I never removed the file. 
I mean, the index wouldn't have been men mentioning it, but... Uh, well, uh, the Ghost Sun patch got merged, so whenever there's a new update, that will, that will appear, and I wanted to make sure there wasn't a conflict. Now, I did have the merge check on me doing it, so maybe, I don't know if that would have been an issue uh, trying to use the automated build. <clears throat> Then I want to see about, well, there's been some more talk of people using the mod lately, so I think I might want to write up some more user-centered documentation. And I think as part of that, I might want to try pulling out the settings into a couple of different example configurations. And that's going to kind of inform documentation, so I might do that first. Unfortunately, that's also going to change my packaging system because it was just files. And then if I've if I've got depth, if I've got separate directories, I can just say, well, yeah, just just do these directories, and I won't have to mess with adding the file, the settings to the file list every time. All right, so that should be all modified. Ooh, I forgot to undo that patch. Well, STG pop. Uh, so we want to make sure that that file is not here. All right. Um, Get rm fix ghost sounds. Get rm, which we apparently missed before. Because that got collapsed into something else. And then, uh, you're for that. Is master this goes away? Um, okay, so yes, that got collapsed in there. And I don't know if this is worth mentioning, but oh, did I have any extra versions here from build issues? No. Actually, upstream, thank you. Might be a better word for that. So that's something that, if need be, we can push, and it should be kind of good as is. <clears throat> uh, did I have any other notes? There's that. Oh, uh, another little, little, little quick little change. Uh, the um, the shiver effect seems to be one of the things that uh, most often <laughs> causes distress of people watching. Uh, temperature isn't as important, and I've basically tuned it out at this point, so it's not actually all that useful. Uh, maybe if I wanted to try doing it again, I would need to do something more like wiggly lines around the character how, in terms of how it would actually be drawn if it actually were a comic book style thing. 
Uh, that's gonna be an early one. Um, okay, just can't spell. That's what I get for using fancy words. Maybe. I guess sure, that doesn't mean I have to laugh. Uh-oh, who's there? Bon Jovi? I mean, that, that's like a full name. So I'm not sure you'd say Bon Jovi who, but whatever. Maybe Bon Jovi, really? <laughs> All right, so I know it's going to be a file. I'm going to turn around and move this a little bit. <laughs> okay. I'm not quite sure how that's connected. I guess we put that back on and oh, it looks like it's not actually centered. Did Bon Jovi have a song with 75 in it or something? <laughs> I'm not that good on pop culture. Oh. oh, I guess the tip message was too small. Uh, or maybe it's, maybe it has bad contrast here. Oh, yeah. Huh. I might have to copy message text. I think that's replay. Oh, yeah. It's a uh, it's text it's white text on white text. Well, yeah, that's going to be an interesting thing. I mean, I guess I'm almost more concerned about um, the DMCA stuff that's been going on.
Uh, should I shiver sweat? Uh, actually, I should just do this. Okay, yes, that off. And I'd probably just make it the default. Just over sweat, default zero. Okay, double check with compile. Oh, we moved past back a thing. Uh, no, it's actually page dot dump. Uh, yeah, the joke part would have been a lot better if uh, I'd actually been able to read it. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I, probably, I want to... Checkpoint this. Uh, let's see, does that... That would also affect the current readme. Because it became one to enable. And change log. Probably not. I mean, I certainly do uh, plenty of it in computer stuff, and it's fun to play around with some some of the graphs and stats and things. But I really recall struggling with like calculus stuff. Of course, part of that was uh, a misunderstanding when I was setting up. I think like high school courses. It just seemed obvious to me that you had to go to pre-algebra before algebra, but apparently that was actually like a sort of a, a makeup if you didn't have some other classes thing. Maybe we didn't read something in the, the course selection guide, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I guess manipulating equations is can be kind of fun. No, 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 no. E series. All right, I have to figure out where all of my setting files are.
Uh, I wonder if uh, this would actually be useful. Oh yes, SDG makes lots of objects. Uh, all branches is actually really bad with STG, and we don't actually have everything on right now. We're kind of going down to here. Uh, use client tag. Um, that's when like it's system updated, but we do have a thing for it. Hmm. I guess putting these in there in separate directories makes it somewhat less useful as a super generic patch. That could be applied uh, to anything, but oh well. So we want to move that to where? I guess it would be... S either like a root directory or a... setting subdirectory. Okay, so it's we're doing this in game source. So it would be either be a game source directory and still having it under settings could still be useful. Well, I guess the only catch with that is people might interpret it as having all those files in settings would be effective. So maybe we should have like game source One life settings. Well, they could still interpret that as being effective. I think I'm done with you. Uh, oh, no, that was, no, there we go. So game source. So our first candidate is uh, using client tag. Which would actually get stored someplace else. So this was in optional client tag. Uh, no, 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 All right, so this is, I guess this should really be a git move. So it gets recorded properly. Now, I guess we'll have to go with settings subdirectory. It says there's settings. It just won't take immediate effect. Uh, git won't even care about if I set up all the directories now. So what I'm thinking is we do everything off. We do le le less disruptive features on, and then basically what I use. <laughs> uh, oh, actually this won't necessarily, this kind of won't be a move. Because it's gonna go to three copies. 
Well, Git will, Git will mostly figure out that it's a copy. The move just records that we have a removal. Um, I guess the settings were more or less this. I probably still can't do the pointer thing on. And that's just going to be a, a documentation thing. Git move. Uh, game source settings using client tag. <clears throat> this is going to be most like the wonderful. This is going to be the same for all of them. I wonder if there's a, a, a git copy to try and record something there. Uh, I think I actually can say the path and it will figure out the rest. Uh, work on the current change. Yeah, that's a move. It is not, yeah, there's not a, a copy helper. This one is going to be the same across all of them, though. Okay, and that got the directory because we added that. And then... Okay, so we SDG refresh. All right, so next setting change. Okay, compat. Max double click frames. TG, go to auto run. Actually, this will probably, yeah, I don't probably include the any. Okay, so this is. That's gonna be something I use. That would probably be. We probably have this in. Oop, in plus, and then we would do a alternate in vanilla. And I one thing I have been debating whether the uh, default default should be, as I do them or as. Well, this won't put any settings in place, even if you unzip it there, so. Uh, 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 uh. That's a little bit of a tougher one. Otherwise, because it could be off-putting for some of the things, or it could be you download it and, like, nothing happens. So that's something I'm not sure about. Might depend on where some other things go. Nope, not get commit. Oh, I'm actually gonna have to go all the way up to continue. Ignore tall objects. Continue browsing through these. Actually, that was just one, one, one patch up. All right, ignore tall objects. That I think would stay the same for just a little bit better and might throw you off if you were in vanilla.
or if you wanted that that basic experience and then diegetic temperature we've already turned off uh, but that is going to be our settings that we want in the directory all right we're not really using that anymore Nope. Oh. Okay, we never came back to refresh. All right, so we've actually got two things here. So we've got that one, which actually is never going to be on now. And it's like sweat drop sprite. Wait, ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. I had to actually go back and refresh the tall objects. Well, those are untracked files. They shouldn't actually cause much trouble if I just leave them there. Look through trees, get it, but now we have to do this the hard way. Wait. It's a wolf life. Wonderful. This is going to break all the patches as we go up. Uh, well, I guess I can actually avoid breaking that on that one. So, what was our first one? Uh, optional client tag. Actually, I can move that in here, can't I? Game store settings. Game store settings. Where are we go again? Woof life. Woof life. Woof lee. One flea. Oh, you know what? It might just recreate the directory as we go up. Oh, did it recognize it as a move? I guess so. Okay, so, or maybe we just didn't have anything in those settings. Okay, so STG pop. Let's check this one real quick. Yeah, max double click frames. Uh, so let's see, I can't move that directory. So we have to move that file. Actually, I think I can probably operate from here for everything I'm doing today, and really from settings. Do 
to one life. And that's you can you can move that file. SDG refresh. Uh, we want to make sure we are tracking whenever this directory reappears. Right, there's another one. No tall objects. Okay, it is empty. And this is where this stuff was sitting around waiting. Oh, I can't just say add game source or add settings now. All right. And that was probably about as, yeah, that was about as far as we were for that. So let's, uh, STG series. Yeah, and I guess if that has any settings files, we want to correct them as well. Don't know if it'll ever ship, but. So we had gotten to there. Uh, let's see, so next setting file. Yep, prefer objects over players with screen lock. All right, so get move, uh, prefer objects over players with screen lock to one life. And then this would be, once again, a little improvement that might nonetheless mess you up if you weren't expecting it. See, and this one was just, yeah, the code. Woof. Okay, open save field. Uh, open save field and typing. This, this is just me a push, this is one up. Git move. Open say. Say field on typing lower, typing upper. This would be a plus thing and actually plus, would, this is actually one of, the, one of those weird cases where something is actually on more because we don't have, we won't have keyboard controls on. Okay, so that zero and that's zero. <laughs> uh, 
Curse assist, tap name completion. Oh, that might that might actually be a very uh <clears throat> very effectful uh, setting. In terms of capabilities. Okay, tab name completion. Uh, that's going to be a plus and something you would not expect because it could affect your ability to do recipes uh, while talking. <clears throat> you would not expect in vanilla. <clears throat> I'm actually almost curious what is still on. And that's something I'm, I'm going to have to go through and figure out for the description here. And I fully vanilla config. I need water though. <laughs> Tutorial. And so let's do an experimental bite here. See how see how it tastes. All right. Mmm. Oh my god. I quit. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, the garlic is so strong. Mmm. And the broccoli and the cheese. I wanna. Do you wanna build a snowman? Show do. Come on, let's go and play. Mwah. You are adorable. Your name is Frosty. Babe, sit back because you're working. <laughs> I think that's oh, a good God, name for her. Himself. Yes. Oh, wow, well, wow. My biggest raid ever. Welcome, everybody. Or well, host or something like that. I'm so oh. new to this. I don't know which one it is. I think which it's one? a raid if they're all in your chat. It's a raid because they're all in my chat. But okay. That makes sense. So, more one hour, one life. And we're back. Where were we? Uh, get status. <clears throat> okay, we have copied the file there. All right, name assist. Does not have its own setting. All right, emotion keys, probably a relatively harmless one, but. All right, so you have one any file. Ah, actually, we just have to get enough things in. Uh, 
Uh, should we do? Do we have a? Uh, is there a d proper disable for that even? Yeah, this isn't a completely disableable thing. And I guess you could maybe give it no key? I'd have to almost have to read into that. Uh... Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of them browsing around. I think I've seen. I might have seen a Minecraft mod. I know I saw somebody using a custom. Satisfactory mod. I don't know if we developed it on stream. And I, and I don't honest, honestly go browsing the programming category as much as I uh, should, but... And I occasionally do the... Um, Monetary annihilation stuff. I most of that was developed before I started streaming, though. Okay, what games do you mod? Uh, that's an extraction. That is a new feature. Okay. Let me see, Shark. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, for someone who says you don't know any language, that's... That can be a serious language. All right, so you have drag crop use. All right, this is, okay, this is default on, even though I don't really actually use it that much. That would be plus feature, probably not a vanilla feature. Or just basic aerosol. Okay. Uh, click to move lock to interact. That is going to be probably default off everywhere, which I think is actually the current state. Yeah. Because this one will completely... Yeah, so I either have to turn that one on here and just have a warning on the 
entire mode, which that is in fact what it is defaulting to. No, off plus off. Since I've got several options, it's tempting to actually turn that on here. Settings, interaction keys, and interaction keys enabled. This would be like interaction key star. Okay, so we're back here. <clears throat> so we need the definitions in all of them. <clears throat> and, oop. Uh, and these are probably gonna be, oop, and that's the key definitions. Probably go, yeah, because I did the typing on this one. So interaction keys enabled is going to be off. SDG refresh. Camera key and screen edge push speed. I guess, hmm. Would I just undefine camera key to turn that off? Remove to disable, does that mean if it doesn't find the file, camera key equals zero? Oh, I, I copied this, so that's a, that's a bad comment. Oh, hey, what do you know I'm in this patch? Uh, if it's that, so it's equal to zero. Um, yeah, zero would actually not be the correct value here. So this would actually be a doesn't exist in vanilla. So you wouldn't really have the prompt that, hey, it's there. Um, actually, that wouldn't exist in plus either. Because of the type to talk. That might be something, well, <clears throat> What would that do? Bell windows. Settings. So if we have open safe field on typing lower as one. 
and then we tried to do camera key, what would happen? Okay, so blah, 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 oh. Well, I don't have any of my... Oh, because I've not recompiled since pushing patches. I was doing compile check with some of the other stuff, and I kind of kind of forgot about that step. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Huh, I actually thought there was a step there. Okay, so actually it does account, so this actually does kind of work. I wonder if there was something different about action interaction keys in specific, but it still defeats the typing uh, types thing, which is actually gonna end up disabling some other keys too effectively. All right, so you have camera key defined. We're not gonna define it in you. We're not gonna define it in you, even though it would kinda work, or it could be easily enabled. Uh, that taking over keys thing. Part of the reason I want, I want to do this one because there was, there was kind of a sweet spot here where you could just start typing and you also had auto run and some other things. All right, so we added one thing manually. So we're going to have to, to manually add this. Wolfling. Oh, you also had screen push speed, which, hmm, that was sort of the opposite of camera control. All right, this is probably actually zero. Yes. So in vanilla, we'll leave it at zero. In plus, I think this was like 20 or so was good. All right, so what did we change? We ch didn't change camera, we changed open safe field. And then screen edge push speed. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is so many settings. <laughs> uh, 
Show close family. Show relation distance. Disable gold disc. Disable goslings. I guess the sprite files can still be there. And the keys, I don't know. I mean, I probably kind of copied the camera control stuff on that. Let's mark key string. Okay, so those do actually have key defaults, but they're not like major typing defaults. So that's probably not as much of a conflict. Uh, this feature might actually get broken by the by some of the message queuing stuff. All right. All the moves. Close family sprite. Genetic family sprite. New player marker object. Player mark and player unmark. Uh, and there's, there's lots of things that are show, so I don't think we can do anything here. All right, da, 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 da. game source settings. Close family sprite, genetic family sprite, new player marker object, player mark, player unmark, show genetic family, show new players, show released in distance. So I think all of these will be fine in plus. In vanilla, we would switch off all the shows. And then the keys would technically be hanging out there. I don't think they're going to get in the way. Help overlay. That's just gonna be there, and I don't know. I don't even know if that takes into account whether some of the features are on. Show yum hover. Show yum hover. Plus, uh, for vanilla, the 
There's no setting for that. There's no setting for that. Oh, Learns Tools is, do I even have that on? Uh, well, we'd, we could set that up for how it would be. Yeah, burn rate might actually be a thing maybe somebody want to turn off. Maybe even name on desk screen, I don't know. Show learns tool, is that even on? It is indeed off in all configurations. I forget if that did anything, you know, despite the fact that there's no tools right now. Disabled by default. Right, because it might show, might pop something up on a tool if it was there. So I guess we'll just have that zero and everything. I'll have to change that if things change. And that could almost be a leave it blank thing, but. This does document what settings are available. Filter matches product. That, hmm. That could be that could be one of the more contentious ones, especially for a newer player. All right, settings, filter matches, product. Alphabetic order isn't, isn't necessarily helping me here. Uh, so you filter off. That's not optional. That's just a patch. Mm. This is really just a two hours support thing. I guess the example setting would be, well, I would almost have to ship a two hours directory. And it's like, what am I gonna put for the other, other settings? I could do a, a two hours thing and move the age scaling two hall in there. You know, for, for any settings that would be different in that environment. So let's start with Oh, we have not we have probably some several things to do. Get status. Oh, no, our status is clean. Where we oh we were deleting things. <laughs> so 
start with that. Take you to there. And, huh. So this should default to whatever. So as an example file, it's useful to say here's what it is, but it's not something you actually need in, well, I've been mostly been doing complete sets even though it's not something you would normally mess with. Oh, and actually I should have, I should have moved that over there with Git. Let's see if it figures it out. Yes. And it decided that the actual move was to plus. <laughs> So maybe the move command isn't all that important. I did kind of re-add things. Okay, this does have an enabled setting. Location slips. And it's location, it all starts with location slip. moved all right these should be fine for plus and these are going to be disabled Okay, no setting for you. Uh, there's a side setting for that one. It's an object ID. I could I, I could almost have a like base settings that's just object IDs and things. And that would that would be like your age scaling and like examples, but we've actually got a default for this. Category pile. I'm starting to wonder if I should do that. You know, I guess in some cases, like the all the family marker stuff, it makes more sense in in group, but like age scaling, category pile.
using client tag. Sweat drop sprite. I guess it's useful to have everything in one place. Okay, object search only has default search for craving, so that feature is always available. the search feature. That one needs to get turned off. Player search. As a keyboard override. Which is one of those things that's once again just everywhere. Uh, is that documented to be a disable? Yeah, actually, yeah, the camera key was disableable because it because it didn't have a default. I may have to make some of these other things uh, default, default to nothing. With just the example file to... Although, yeah, actually that would mean... Mm, well, no, no, I think Chucky unzipped it in folder, so we did get the setting file. which actually would no longer work, unfortunately. Player mark key. Player track key. Oh, player mark, player unmark, player track. Once again, just a setting. So I guess I should be checking I didn't miss any previous rounds here. Although I guess if it, when I did the one life star, it would suck them all up and I'd put it in the wrong place. Name labels, this is probably a, yeah, just to show name labels. Probably a toggleable feature. All right. I guess that'd be a. Not going to change your interface. It could be a plus feature. Based hunger dings. Hmm. Is this just always on? Maybe it's zero, it's default form. Zero to disable this feature. Yes, we can still turn it off.
Starvation alarm time. Nope, not that, not that kind of edit. Pat missing strings, probably shouldn't have anything. And that has a keyboard key, but it's not a published patch yet. Hmm. Has there been any further signs of one life activity? Nope. So just doing this has some, some major implications for my publishing infrastructure. And... So as is, there's gonna be client changes. Were there any significant client changes? I think there's just the one bug fix. So I could just tell people you can keep on using the last build. Oh, that patch was hanging out for a while. Okay, so this is less binary. Okay, so the map change logs, scripts, server, game source, command change to network. Getting too close to edge. That was an interesting one. Uh, server. And we should have, we should have, this is fairly old. We've probably done a build since then. He didn't version the client though. So actually we wouldn't have necessarily done a build since then. Yeah, empty tile, server, server, server. Server, 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 server. Server, server, server. Thank you. And uh, there's that. Uh, let's see. Then he was maybe he was he was doing some other things. Server settings. Server, 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 server. No, that's really it. And we don't know when he's actually going to publish that. So that's the only, I think that's the only really important change. Well, I guess there was maybe the network command change. And we've already got that. So I don't necessarily need an intermediate build. Unless there's something else traumatic comes along. We just say we won't be able to publish until we finish this. And I do have the commits there. I could go back and tag it post. Uh, of course, if I start trying to tag a new version here, then it's going to... Maybe I do an unreleased tag version. But I don't build unless I have to. All right, I went up, I went up here. Strangely enough, I thought of that. <laughs> it's like, you know, we got some people who've been sitting around getting a lot of points. We don't want to get too silly. Because at the end of the day, that that that's kind of there for me. And it's just, for whatever reason, having that there as points helps people help me. It's even though it's kind of... Maybe a little bit of a silly thing to spend points on. 
but it's proved popular in several places. All right, so this is good. Uh, that would mean that the change log would be a version now. I mean, this still might be unpublished. Also, go just kick off a build for kicks, but I'm not gonna have the new version number when this stuff would have been in. It's, it's all kind of a mess. And maybe you could go in and like do kind of a branch type thing. There we go, version it. And I was using V. All right. And you really hope nothing breaks and you have to do other versions just to fix that. STG series, STG. So step one is we get this stuff to export. <clears throat> Then I have to edit my uh, package files thing and set that up so that it, mm, do I do do I do like package directories? It's like I, I could continue using files, but I, then I have to add each setting individually. That's, that's always something I forget to do. Now uh, the cause of many of those little version bumps. So I almost want to figure out well, I almost have to commit to see if that even works. <laughs> uh, how am I how am I doing this? Windows client was actually going to be in the Docker. Probably in one of the scripts. Fetch latest tagged apply patches. And that applies the patches. Uh, so this actually more packaging. Uh, maybe publish. Either publish or build. Oh, this is seven zip. <laughs> I'm not even processing that myself. I need more like exact documentation of what can be in that list. Z format. Yeah. All right, can I get into one of these? I don't know if I normally keep 
this around. Or it's got, does it have some kind of base image? No, it's Ubuntu Xenial with that installed. I just would replace the command, which means it would have to do a build. So I may have had like some other version of this Docker file that didn't have all of this stuff run where I could just kind of check out the environment that I was doing this originally. Uh, Windows, client, actually this has, to be, this has to be adjusted for all of them. And there are so many files in the source directories here. Oh, I do have actually the um a whole dev. It's probably like all of this stuff without writing the scripts. So that's what we use that's what we use for git. No hold dev windows build push run run bash. Whoa, apparently we're typing there. Okay, so apparently we haven't actually built that here. Uh, let's see. Oh, dev. Fetch latest tag. Oh, okay. Oh, dev windows. Must be build. Okay, so we were, we were really close to it. Was I connecting to um? No such file or directory unknown. Program files, git user. What? Oh. So that actually that's this shell is trying to translate paths. I wonder why I didn't run into that before. Well, we were well. We were running a server there. Uh, I don't think I'm, I'm doing any like merged file systems or anything, so that should be fine. All right. Do you have sufficient document? You probably don't have man pages here. Is the issue. Archives, exclude archives, list files. Yeah, actually. Uh, 
As for SourceForge related links, Yeah, actually, the, the search actually seems to be the best source for this, which is crazy. So we have examples, syntax, list file. Okay, so this allows wildcards to be sufficient to get directories. So we can probably just say Now, as long, I guess there's the question of, does that, if it is a directory, does it do that or does it have to list files? All names, all names. Slash at the end of a path means a directory, either a file or a directory. Well, that's, that's general stuff. File names. Multiple list files are supported. Does it really say? I mean, this stuff talks about directories. And it probably follows the same syntax. So we might just have to try this. I will not have update date readme on this, but I want to at least solve the technical part of this. And I guess we could also do some, some super simple testing here. Of course, I don't actually have the directory structures I want, so we'd have to... Uh, also, I will have to push this, which will which will trigger builds. Or do I have to push this? Depends on, I think that this is the, this Docker file. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, build client, client windows. Or windows client. <laughs> This is all gonna use from, mm. all gonna use from the network. Well, maybe that's how I originally did it, I don't remember. Well, yes, because it's going to be inside the Docker container Oh, just Windows client. Okay, so I guess I could just, we're uploading our local repository. So I could clone it locally and then like temporarily skip some of this stuff. Hmm. All right, I need a little break. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hi.
Warper? Is he fighting a Warper? Alright. Uh, home. Home again, home again, home again. Okay, he is actually using turn. I wonder if he gets full turn. Shorter, like to, to match me, or maybe he just didn't touch this fight at all, or maybe it's just broken because his AI was written expecting a longer turn than he has. Maybe it's just broken. So bad in my butt. And we're gonna wanna get into this iron. Um, Alright, so we'll do a little bit of this and that. And some of that. Oh wow, those guys are quick to get in there. All right, we're back. Uh, I guess we can set up a little, little test here. Uh, we've got seven. Yeah, we were here testing the help. Uh, we are at root, which seems like maybe not the best place to be doing some testing. But there was nothing at home. Do we have no? Do we have VI? Oh, we don't, don't even have VI. Well, we're only interested in like one pattern here. So, let's, we just use a text. Oh no, this would be a, this would be an echo. And we can cat package files. And then the seven zip invocation. Add the zip file and at this thing. Oh, 7z add to test.zip at compressing one, two, three. Okay. So that should work. Uh, we're going to have to actually commit and tag to test it with our current setup. Unless I take like the local directory. Well, I already, I already always publish the patches and always use that. So it's just gonna it's just gonna be a big mess. There's package files. And then it's not even gonna be like a 
proper build. It's going to have the files move, but oh well. Oh, there is still going to be a change a, a change log item here though. It's pretty much just going to be V80 because we have to tag it. And then there'll be a whole other version to change the readme. <laughs> Into several... different ex... Sample configurations. Sample configuration subdirectories. Copy the settings from the one. Uh, the documentation on this will follow. We, we're just trying to do some technical proofing now. So I set up, well, actually the, the, the build task might be disabled because it's the same task for both the auto and the trigger run so that the disable might have disabled all triggers, not just the scheduled triggers. Four days ago. Yeah, so it is fully disabled, which is actually not so bad for us right now. We can uh, do it here and watch the results. Yeah, I did have a thing here. I don't think we need any commands. Uh, so this is it. No, Windows client build. Uh, oh, did you have a separate fetch step? Yeah, I did do that. Although, oh, this is gonna just fail, fail. Maybe. I might have to hack it up to take master from one life. Thinking we've, we've kind of removed the potentially can so this would just do a if it build against real public release, it would just not have the sound patch. As long as nothing else was too close to that, that it ended up depending on the change. It was a pretty small change. Uh, I guess we'll kind of have a release that doesn't have the patch, which is a little weird. Okay, compressing settings. But I don't, I don't have to actually upload this, successfully tagged. Okay, that actually looks good. Uh... So now I can start working on the README and just we don't actually enable this until until Jason does a release. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. I'm concerned. Yeah, so there, this might actually be more than one session's worth of stuff. Or maybe just rewriting documentation could be a little background task too. Because uh, unfortunately I was a little restless last night, which meant, meant I got up late and we didn't get a whole lot of time here. And just moving all those settings was a bit of work. Uh, I kind of need to move this thing to like a patches readme. And then, yeah, I don't know if, because like th this is the thing that'll show up on GitHub, which is the description of the patches, but it's kind of become the client. So this might need to move to a separate file, and then that wouldn't even necessarily, I guess maybe I can still include it in the package. And then the readme gets refocused as like install instructions and here's which features are in which example settings. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go through and document the binary defaults to say what you would get if you didn't do any of that, which I'm... Maybe we want to rethink that then. So I'm going to have to go through all of these things. Reorder them, reorganize them, like get all the keyboard keybinds together. Uh, organize things by which subset of settings you started with. And then also, I guess from a user level, you'd want to document the settings files. Maybe, maybe you'd still have kind of a feature level thing. But it's going to be a lot of thinking. It's going to be a lot of writing. It's going to be a lot of moving around. And I still need to, like, eat lunch and then go play the game. Maybe writing isn't a big thing, but I think that thinking through how you would explain stuff to someone is going to actually require some effort. I knew that moving some files around would take that long. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the water. Thanks to all the subscribers, voluntary and otherwise. And I am, in fact, a little bit behind on scouting for code. Let's see, there's some game dev. That's what I'm usually on. Somebody making an AI thing. That might actually be some stream meta. Oh, that is JavaScript. Uh, but hey, we got a cool person. Uh, yeah, I, I like oh, Gimbal. Ah, I thought something that said it was uh, everything paused. I guess it just the program is not running right now. It's like, are you on break? We're someplace cool to hang out. Fifth function is working on some JavaScript AI thing. And that's someplace cool to hang out. 
Thanks for hanging out with me. Goodbye, and until next time.